Truck engines do not have a hydraulic valve clearance compensation as with passenger cars. The valve clearance is the small distance between the camshaft and valve. The distance is necessary because in operation the valve gets warmer and longer. And if this distance is too small, it can happen that the valve hits the camshaft and does not close properly. And in the worst case, it can burn. Therefore, the valve clearance must be checked in regular service intervals and reset if necessary. There are two methods for this and we'll use method two the mechanical valve clearance. We'll show you using the engine 457.9 as an example. Before you begin with the work, the vehicle must cool for 30 minutes. A steady heat soak of the engine is thereby guaranteed. But caution! This time span also includes if you've only driven the vehicle a few meters into the workshop. First tilt the cab forward. Then remove the noise cover and you get access to the cylinder head covers. They're held by two screws. Remove these. It doesn't matter in which order you begin. We begin with cylinder 6. Remove the other five cylinder heads. Now you have access to the intake and exhaust valves. Because the Axor has a four-stroke engine, the valve clearance must be checked and set in two crankshaft positions. Turn the engine with the motor turning device until the top dead center is reached, i.e. the piston is at the highest point in the cylinder. Before you can install the motor turning device, loosen the two screws in the cap of the eye hole. Now attach the motor turning device by screwing it to the eye hole in the timing case. Now turn the engine. Here we have a tip for you. Take a 10 mm reducer socket and put this on the device the wrong way around. Now take a ratchet with a 10 mm Allen wrench bit and you have greater leverage to turn the engine. Bring the engine to the top dead center. Turn the engine until the TDC marking can be seen in the eye hole. The four-stroke engine has two different TDC positions. Therefore, check which cylinder is at the top dead center of the piston. Therefore, at ignition TDC. We'll check cylinder one. The rocker arms are free. Therefore, cylinder one is at the ignition TDC. Because we're using method two, we'll use a feeler gauge to check and set the valves. Use the VIST document on your screen. We begin with cylinder 1. Because the cylinder is at the ignition TDC, you can check the intake and exhaust valves at the same time. Moisten the feeler gauge with oil so no contact friction develops. Examine the valve clearance at the exhaust valve with a 0.6 mm feeler gauge. Examine the intake valve with a 0.4 mm feeler gauge. Normally the feeler gauge can be passed through both valves with an easy resistance. But with us, this is not the case. The valve clearance is too small and must be adjusted. First loosen the lock nuts. Now we adjust the exhaust valve. Set the clearance with the adjusting screw. 
The feeler gauge must be able to be pulled through easily between rocker arms and valve. Then hold the adjusting screw and tighten the lock nut with a 17mm wrench. When it's set, tighten the lock nut with 50 newton meters. Check the clearance once again for safety, because the adjusting screw could rotate when tightening the lock nut, and the clearance would have to be adjusted again. Then correct the clearance of the intake valve. Do this in the same way as with the exhaust valve. After that, the clearance should be within the given tolerance of plus or minus 0.05 millimeters. After you have correctly set the valve clearance of the first cylinder with an unchanged crankshaft position, examine the remaining valves. If cylinder 1 is at the ignition TDC, then the following valves can be examined and adjusted. Cylinder 2, the intake valve, is examined and adjusted if necessary. Cylinder 3, the exhaust valve. Cylinder 4, the intake valve. Cylinder 5, the exhaust valve. Cylinder 6 is at the valve overlap point and so the rocker arms are solid. You can only check the valve clearance when the engine is turned. Turn the engine until the TDC mark can be seen again. Cylinder 6 is now at the ignition TDC. You do not need the engine turning device any longer, so unscrew this now and install the cover of the eye hole again. Tighten the screws with 25 newton meters. Now we continue with the check of the valves. Since the engine was turned for a second time, you can now check the valves, which you could not adjust before. Use the work reference with the number on your screen. And with that done, you're finished with the checking and setting of the valves. Lastly, we still have two tips for the reinstallation of the cylinder head covers. Remember to exchange the old seals with new ones. and tighten the screws of the cylinder head covers with 20 newton meters of torque.